Hello everyone. Today we will be processing a EEG motor imagery data for different activities by at first filtering it, then extracting features from it and then classifying it into different actions. For the same, we are considering upper limb movement decoding from EEG data of BNCI Horizon 2020.eu database which is publicly available in this link. Now to start with at first I will be describing the data set. The data set contains 93 columns sorry 96 columns which are actually EEG data EOG data, thumb movement data, exoskeleton data and finally the class levels. Now the channel run to channel 61 contain the EEG data from 61 channels. We will be considering only the EEG portion. For that, at first, we have loaded the Google Drive in the Google Cola. Then, as the data set is in the GDA format, that is General Data File Format, that is why MNE module has to be installed in the Google Cola. Then importing MNE, NumPy and Pandas, we can at first use the MNE to read the raw GDF file with specification of the link. That means I have now I have downloaded the data set and I have uploaded the subject one run one motor execution data set in the Google Drive and it has been loaded into the raw variable as it is raw not pre-processed that is why it has been named as raw you can name it otherwise also no problem with that next raw dot filter L frequency and H frequency that means we are applying band pass filter between 0.5 hertz and 30 hertz low frequency and high frequency lowest frequency is 0.5 hertz and highest frequency is 30 hertz these are the two arguments of the filter function and with the raw variable we are calling the filter function next we are cancelling out the line noise at 50 hertz and its harmonics so we are applying notch filter for that after applying this is showing the modified data set next if i want to see the information about raw then i can use raw.info then there will be some parameters shown as number of channels, high, high pass is how much, low pass is how much, these things are shown. Now if I just print the raw, then I can see the file name, how many uh, rows are there and columns are there, that also is being shown. 164864 rows are there and 96 columns are there, as there are 96 channels belonging to EEG, EOG, exoskeleton and thumb related accelerometer data. So printing raw means the file in it is showing. Next for the sake of simplicity we are converting the MNE file that means the raw file here into its corresponding data frame. So I have imported the pandas as pd and with pd i have converted the 
raw into data frame. Now after conversion with this line, if I just print PD, I will be seeing the numerical values. Now what I can see is some columns are containing NAND, that means null values. So if I want to drop the null values, columns containing the rows containing the null values, I can drop it with pd.dropna that means we can call the drop na function with the pd that means the pandas data frame and I, if i just print the pd then i will be seeing the null values have been removed now x is considered as pd is all rows but 1 to 61 column that means we are considering only the eeg and in the data set what we have seen is from first column to 61st column there is EEG data. So we will be considering only those. So all the rows of those 1 to 61 column will be considered as the data frame over here. So we are taking another variable x and there we are storing the values from 1 to 61 column. Next we are printing x. There we can see previously the number of rows were 112482 and 97 columns were there. But after this thing that means after specifying only the six, first 61 rows what I can see is x dot shape that means if I want to print the shape of the x variable now then I can see that the number of rows is the same but the number of columns has changed into 60. That means only the EG columns have been selected. Now as per the data set description, the event queues have happened like elbow flexion, elbow extension, supination, pronation, hand close, hand open and rest. Seven types of tasks have been performed by the subjects. The event codes are uh, given corresponding to those seven tasks and processing those event codes that means calculating the time frames what I can see is the events have occurred only in some time frames like 3584, 7211, 11146, 14926, 18592. So if I just consider these type uh, time frames only, then also the classification can be done. As these time frames contain only the activities, the others are inactive. So here in one cell, I have processed that means I have actually extracted the features like mean amplitude, variance and standard deviation. Only three features here I have considered. So these three features are extracted from all the 112482 rows. So 40 in range 1 to 112482. At first in pd underscore t variable I have considered all the values so dot values have been considered and then I have printed the pt that means the row has been printed suppose for t as 1 at first the pdt has been printed then its corresponding mean value that means mean amplitude have been calculated in mean amplitude variable that means it has been calculated with np dot mean pdt as the pdt is containing the data values so from the pdt if i call the mean function using numpy then whatever the mean function will return that will be stored in the mean amplitude variable similarly if i call variance function that means where function for the PDT variable from NumPy, whatever the where function will return that is getting stored into the variance function. And from the statistics tool, if I, can, uh, if I call the STDEV function, that means that is actually for st 
standard deviation for the PDT variable then whatever this STDV function will return that will be stored in the standard deviation variable. Now if I just print the mean amplitude variance and standard deviation then I can see that from the output what I can see is at first the data values are shown over here this is the 60 number of data value for one time frame and after that three corresponding variance mean amplitude and, and the standard deviation values have been printed so these are the features actually like this 112482 rows have been processed for 112482 frames and their corresponding variance mean amplitude and standard deviation have been extracted like these three time domain features more time domain features can be extracted you can consider shannon entropy you can consider log energy entropy you can consider skewness kurtosis these types of features and you can create a feature matrix like this as already shown in another video of channel selection using SLAW data we can select the relevant channels among the 60 channels considered from the EEG we have considered only 27 channels optimal 27 that means the channels more relevant to the field or the to the to this particular type of activities we have considered f3 f1 fz f2 f4 fc5 fcz fc2 fc4 fc6 c5 c3 c1 cz c2 c4 c6 cp5 c3 sorry cp3 cp1 cpz p3 p1 pz p2 p4 and for all of the channels all of the 27 channels standard deviation std mean has been marked with m and variance has been marked with variance so this this is the feature matrix and in the class level what i can see is 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 class levels are there for 6 sorry 6 class levels are there starting from 0 to 5 are there for the 6 class levels now coming to the classification I have loaded the data set data set means not the raw data set feature matrix with s01 underscore me dot csv this file now this s01 me dot csv at first has been read by the pandas data frame and then it has been converted into frame variable now we are considering the columns we are supplying the column heads then pd dot data frame those particular columns are being selected and getting stored into the df next for the classification purpose what i am doing is i have selected the rows all the rows except the class sorry all the rows for these particular columns that means all the columns except the class column because class is the y that is dependent variable and x is the independent variables that means the standard deviation mean and variance for all the 27 channels each for 20, all the 27 channels so 81 rows are there sorry columns are there and rows are 2448 and 432 why i am saying it later now x has been loaded with this column values and y has been loaded with 
class column values next if i want to print the x and I, if i want to see the numerical values then this is the command and after that i am splitting the tri uh, entire feature metric into test data set and training data set so test size is 0.15 and training size is 0.85 that means the entire data set has been split in 85 is to 15 ratio for the training and testing now if i want to see the shape of training feature training level testing feature and testing level then i, I can see training feature shape is 2448 and 81 that means 2448 rows are there 81 columns are there here training level shape is 2448 cross 1 because 2448 is the number of rows and 1 is the column as there is only the class level as the training level so one column is there only similarly testing feature shape is 432 and 432 cross 81 that means 432 rows are there and 81 columns are there here testing level shape is 432 rows and one column only now if i just train it with random forest classifier i can initialize the number of estimators that is one parameter with 10,000 if I have just initialized it with 10,000 then this RF model has been fit with train features and train levels if I want to perform hyperparameter tuning then I can do that using randomized search then the best parameter combination will be selected for this number of estimators maximum features maximum depth minimum sample split minimum sample slip and bootstrap these are the parameters for all of them the best combination will be selected so here rf random dot best parameters they are showing that bootstrap's best value has been selected as 2, max depth's best value has been 70, max features best value has been auto, minimum sample slip is 4, minimum sample split is 10, number of estimators is 400. These are the best parameters chosen for this particular data set. Now if I just evaluate the model using test features and test levels, I can find out the accuracy and the errors accordingly so this is just an example i am not saying that this is the perfect one this is the perfect combination or this is the perfect classifier for this particular data set this was just a demo that how to pre-process eg data extract features extract uh, more specifically the time domain features then how to classify it so that's it